Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Abby Roman and welcome. Today's video is gonna be a get ready with me and this is the final look. So in a moment, we're gonna start with the get ready with me, but I am so obsessed and I can't wait to take you through my new makeup. These products are ones that I purchased recently from the fall slash winter Sephora sale. I will link my video above. I spent way too much money, like over a thousand dollars. Oh my gosh, but a lot of it was also Christmas gifts, restocks of my favorites and lots of viral products. And I'm so excited to show you this makeup look with so many of the products that I did get from that haul. Now, before we get started, you guys know the drill. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss my videos when they go live. And I'm so excited to take you through this get ready with me and show you how I achieved this look. Right now, I have just washed my face uh, exfoliated my face and then I used two like skin prep products they are not new so I didn't like want to include it as like a new get ready with me because these weren't purchased from the Sephora sale but I will show you what I prep my skin with I started with the Mac hyper real and it's their skin balancing hydration serum and then the second product is also from Mac and it's their hyper real skin canvas balm and I just want to let it sit a little bit to really absorb so as you can see my skin is definitely not perfect I do have the odd little guys going on here Oh, my skin, I think that's the most self-conscious thing I like about myself um, that I'm self-conscious about because I do literally everything like to the T and I'm still getting breakouts here and there, but what are you gonna do? I'm hoping that, you know, I'm in my 30s now, this is gonna go away, but if you are feeling the same or this you experience the same, let me know in the comment section. I'm always open to hearing everyone's recommendations for clear, amazing skin, but it's definitely getting better, but it's good because now we can see if the concealer and foundation in today's video is gonna really hide all of my imperfections. So getting ready, I love sipping on a hot beverage or a cold, or a cold beverage, but for winter, it's like festive. I wanna wear my cute little Santa mug and I have a chai spice tea in here. And I got these from Dollarama. They are so cute. How amazing, it's like $3, so cute. But the first product we're gonna use, now that you know how I prep my skin, is a primer, because primer makes such a difference, guys, and it is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. I already took the cover off because I don't want this video to be too, too long. So I'm gonna just use like a pea size amount. Use that much. And I'm just looking in my mirror. There's no scent, which is nice. And this feels really nice on the skin. Very light and not oily, so that's good so far. Apparently, this is a really popular primer, and I'm not gonna use a primer on my eyelids, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my eyelids. So for foundation, I am not gonna conceal my imperfections here because I wanna see how well the foundation covers. So the foundation we're gonna use is from Hourglass, and it's their Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I got this in color 7.5. Now I have like self tan a little bit. As you can see, my skin is not looking the same, but I have been wanting to try this foundation forever, but it is expensive, which is why I got it during the sale. And everyone swears by their brush. This is the Hourglass Foundation Brush, and this is apparently medium to buildable coverage. One pump. Oh my God, I just love a new brush. But... So obviously my skin is very pale compared to my body, so I have to always get like a darker foundation. But so far, this is really nice. Let's see if it covers up this pimple here. Oh, I'm liking it. Now this one, I might have to go over a couple more times with some extra foundation, but the brush is great. I'm very much so liking the brush. Definitely it is as good as people are saying. So for a first impression on two pumps, this is looking nice. What are we thinking so far? Definitely, I'm a little more tanned, but we can adjust that when I add in the contour and stuff. I'm liking so far this foundation on top of the Hourglass Primer. So my like thinking behind it is I want to kind of do all the Hourglass products, but I tried a different concealer, which you'll see in a second, versus the Hourglass Concealer. So next Sephora sale, I'm just gonna get the Hourglass Concealer because I'll be out probably by then, which is in the spring. Now I don't put a lot of uh, foundation like close to my actual under eyes because then I don't want to look too cakey. So I'm gonna go in with my concealer to make it look smooth. So I am drawing it down the neck just to kind of make sure it blends with my self tanner. So my head and my face and my neck all look the same, but I definitely love this brush. I totally get the hype. It fits really nice in your hand. 
kind of holds it like this and it's just is really nice and by the way I'm so obsessed with my Christmas nails I did my first like holiday color and I'm just so in love with this shade I think it focused but let me just zoom in a little bit is it focusing there we go it is such a pretty red love all the Christmas colors so I'm gonna let this sit for a sec I just feel like then it just absorbs really nicely into the skin now I obviously have eyelash extensions on so it's gonna make the eye part a little easier and my eyebrows are also microbladed by my girl Julia and I will link below her information she's phenomenal and I'll also link above the lip blushing because my lips have nothing on there it's just a little tint from her lip blushing that she does just to give a little natural pop of pink so my brows and lips kind of look half done but they're not fully done we're gonna just jazz them up a little bit towards the end because this is I think almost two years since I did my lip blushing and my eyebrows are about a year and a half so like everything needs a little touch up so it's a little faded but I mean it lasts a long time so now for concealer I'm really excited I've never used anything from this brand it's called the tower 28 concealer I like the applicator so let's come up nice and close I'm gonna have to look in the mirror guys oh, wow this is really nice I might have gone a little bit too dark on the concealer but I want to just really lay it like lay it on I want to see how much it blends now I like to kind of keep this on for a moment just to kind of really let it set in so while it sets in I'm going to just quickly do my brows off camera so my eyebrows are done and now I'm going to just come in nice and close and we are going to blend out the concealer oh wow I really really like this so far the skin products are looking phenom blending really nicely make sure everything is nicely blended in really nice what do you guys think this is obviously blended not blended and this brush is just from Tarte it's their double-ended concealer brush now we're gonna go in with the cream product for bronzer and I'm really excited so this is I well L Y S and I'm really pumped because this one is always sold out too from Sephora it has like a nice triangle shape and this is in no limits harmony so I'm gonna turn it oh wow that's really nice so I'm assuming you go like this just to make it really nice and angled so let's give it a shot beautiful let's go to the other side here it's so hard doing my makeup and do i don't know how these people make these get ready with me so easy i'll do a little bit on my nose just this very soft line oh mess that up it's okay we'll fix it and then i'm gonna do the top a little on the chin and a little bit right here And then pop that in. Oh, that's really nice. Now, obviously, I'll be able to do this better when I'm not filming because filming is so much harder than it seems, guys. People that make it look easy. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna just use this Morphe brush. Um, this is the Morphe V108. And I showed this and some other Morphe products in a previous vlog. Um, and go check that out. I will link it above. And I do like an old bunch of stuff. Anyways, you guys will love it. I did a whole makeup haul, new skincare. Julia did my hair in that Kim Kardashian inspired Met Gala look and date night. It's like a fun vlog. I think you guys would enjoy it. But this I got from that haul. And I just feel like this blends out. Contouring so nice. Oh wow, this contour really, like this contour cream really blends out nicely. Oh, I like it. I, I know I put a little bit of a thick line on, but because my skin was a little bit lighter, it's okay. And what are you guys up to for the holiday season this year? Let me know in the comment section. I don't know if this is gonna be live before, but I am doing a girls trip to New York. I've always wanted to do some like Christmas fun vibes and get really festive in New York because I haven't been in New York since I was in grade 11. So I was 15, 16. And like, you know, with your family, it's different, right? Like I'm an adult now and I'm just so excited. I just love the Christmas spirit. It's such a magical season. I just love all the decor. So if you guys are doing anything fun during the holiday season, let me know in the comment section. I love seeing and reading all the fun vibes for Christmas. So that blended really nice. So now let's go ahead and blend the top part. And I always blend it like into my hairline because I don't want to have like a big stripe there. <laughs> and I think that this is a really nice product as well. Like, wow, I, I really research before I use products. So I'm really happy that they are actually as good as my researching showed online on YouTube from other people and just overall reviews. 
just to the chin. And I like to draw it down my neck because it just helps to like make your neck look more slender when you put more shadowing on your center. I don't have a very defined jaw or like jaw, but defined esophagus. But um, I always like to draw it down just so it all blends and just gives you that nice look. And then this just to help create a little shadow on the under part of your lip. I do not have my lips done, so this just helps it get extra plumping looking when you have your lipstick on. There we go. And I kind of just brush them on the top. Not enough to make you look like you have a mustache, but just to like help accentuate like a shadow later on. So, so far guys, just draw a little extra on the jawline. I don't usually put a lot on the jawline because then it really looks like I have a very white neck, <laughs> very pale because my face and neck are always so pale because I always put on sunscreen there. So I'm really impressed with this, like these products so far guys. I am absolutely in love. They blend so nicely and all the brushes I've been using so far have been working so well with the products. Now I just want to let this sit in for a sec just because I feel like that really allows the product to sink in before I set it. So we're gonna have another little sip of tea. Christmas mug vibes. So because I didn't get any powders during the sale to like set my makeup, I'm just gonna use like other ones that I have already. So I'll obviously tell you which ones those are. Now a little side note I wanna share. I did buy this during the Sephora sale and I used it after my shower and I am obsessed. It is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Body for Menza Oil. First off, it smells phenomenal. I love that it has a pump because I feel like when it's always those oils that have like spray, the spray gets all over the floor, it gets everywhere, it's so slippery. This. You just pump on your hands and it is absorbs nicely like I have it on right now. It just gives your skin like just such a nice glow. It doesn't make you feel greasy. It absorbs quickly. It is phenomenal. I love the smell. So I just wanted to tell you guys that because since I am doing a get ready with me with new products from my most recent Sephora haul during the Sephora sale, I wanted to show you guys and give like give an honest review on this product and I really love it. Now for skin, this is so nice. It's so underestimated and it is from Sephora. It's their Sephora Micro Smooth Multitasking Baked Face Powder. It really blurs the skin. So I'm just taking like a soft little under eye brush and putting it on the under eye to set that first. And I pretty much do like all the light points of my face with this. So anywhere where I put the dark contour, I'm not going to do and I'm not going to do a contour yet because I just realized I forgot to put on the blush. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting so sidetracked because I'm chatting with you guys. So we'll just set all the lighter skinned areas. I'm such a loser, but we are going to be putting blush. So before I do the powder, I always you would usually do this, but I kind of forgot. So this is the Nude Sticks Matte All Over Face Blush Color and it's in the color Naughty and Spice. And this is a clean product from Sephora. It comes with a brush but I personally never like using the brush. Now with this, I'm gonna just put a little bit on. What like? Ooh, I'm really excited guys. I really hope that all of my camera settings, like the height, everything actually turns out because this is like a one shot thing. <laughs> okay, so what I like to do is I come in with another Morphe brush. I did buy that also from that haul that I showed you. And this is the Morphe Oh, it doesn't say on it. It's kind of been rubbed off. And it was like an angled brush and I use this for my blush. And I just feel like it blends blush. Like look at how perfect that blend of the blush. Oh, I really like this color. Oh, that's so nice. Look at that guys. Wow, that is a really nice. Then I use a little extra and I just kind of like put it on the nose just to kind of blend it all together. Oh, wow, that looks beautiful. Oh, I'm really happy with that. I am really happy with that blush. It's just a little bit of something, but not too much. I did get another blush also from that same Sephora haul, which I'll use in another Get Ready With Me. Um, but yeah, so to set that blush, this is not from the Sephora sale, but it's like a newer product I haven't had for that long. Um, and it was also in that same vlog I was mentioning earlier. And it's this Chanel blush and it's in the color Rose Initial. And what's so nice about this blush is it actually smells like rose. Like it's crazy. Like it literally smells like roses. Makes you feel all girly when you're getting ready. So I'm just gonna use another brush. Comes with a brush, but 
Seriously, like I don't know why all these brands put these uh, these brushes because I feel like no one ever uses them. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put that product, just do a little excess off, and just use this to set the, the blush. Oh wow, look at how nice. Just do the other side. So that's going over the contour and the blush. So sometimes I won't do like a bronzer on top of the contour. I'll just sometimes just go in with then the cream blush and then the, the powder, just to kind of set that darker contour look. Cause I'm not gonna go too glam tonight. Now for our eyes, so I'm just going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. Something not too crazy. I'm probably gonna go in with this color right here. I'm just gonna do like right on the crease in my eye, just to kind of give a little color. And then I'm just gonna drag it into the, the lid. And then I like to wing it out a little bit to kind of give your eyes like that lifted look. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay, so I ran to the other side just to make this go a little faster. And then what I like to do is I'm just gonna go in with a, like a light color. Like I'll probably just do this one with my finger, just really lightly. And then just put it right on the brow bone, just like a really subtle little extra, just to kind of like lighten that. Whoop, I put a little too much on that side. Shoot. It's okay, with makeup you can fix it. And just blend it out. Everything is just all about the blending, guys. And taking your time. Like I love doing my makeup. Like truly, it is so fun for me. It's so soothing and I just love beautifying myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. I could be such a gym girl, like sweaty, no makeup, looking rugged. And then I love the full glam. So we will keep it subtle. So it's just a really subtle for the eyes because we're gonna take one of our new Sephora products and it is the Sephora Ombre Crayon Shadow and Liner. And this is in their, I believe it's called Rose Gold. So I'm gonna do it on the inner part of my eye. So right here. Oh wow, that's really pretty. And then draw it into the inner crease. Oh my gosh. People were joking. And then I'm just gonna use my finger and kind of like draw it in. It looks so pretty. Just like a little extra pop. So let me do the other side and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right guys, so it's turning out. I'm really happy with that Sephora crayon. Like this is such a pretty color, like perfect for the holiday season. Just a little pop on the inner tear ducts and like just to brighten the inner crease of your eye, like the inner corner. I think that looks so great. Now we're gonna use the other product. So it's the same product, but different color. It's in brown, it's just their matte waterproof crayon shadow and liner in brown. And again, everything will be down in the description box linked for you guys just to make it easier. So you don't have to like go back and hear what I'm saying. It'll just be all down there. Oh wow, nice. Now what I'm gonna do is I added like a thicker wing because I'm gonna go in and blend it to smudge it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this side off camera. One sec, guys. Okay, so I put on both sides and now smudge it to kind of give you that very like smoky look. So this is just, this is not from the sale, but I got this from a previous Sephora sale. It's just a Sephora brand. It's their smudge, very dense brush. It is so great. And I just love using this to blend and smudge. So I get like a really nice smoky eyeliner. I just feel like it looks so nice. And right now this product has really melted into my skin. I'm really happy with that. Smudge is really nice. And I like draw it into like a little side V to kind of give your eyes like that nice winged smudge look. The eyes are looking nice and smoky, but bright and alive. At least I think so. <laughs> now, one thing I forgot, I feel like I'm so flustered today for some reason and I'm mixing up some stuff. So I did forget to add the dark colored like bronzer to contour. Now I already mentioned what I do for my cheeks, but I didn't set the rest of my face with that contour. So this isn't new, but obviously I've bought it previously from Sephora sales and it's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Airbrush Flawless Finish in number four. So this is just gonna set the other areas of the face. So this is, you don't need a lot, like a very light amount because it's very dark. And if you put too much on, it looks like mud. So I'm setting this on top of the product LYS, the nice little triangle bronzing stick. So I'm using this here. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of that Charlotte Tilbury again on the bottom of my nose, as well as on my nose on the sides. I wanted to get that Patrick Ta like contour brush because that'd be so perfect, but it was sold out. 
Now what I do is with a little bit of extra, I just kind of go on top of the blush because you'll see why I'm going to touch things up in a sec. And then I'll get a little bit on the jaw just to make us look chiseled and amazing. And then down the throat, just to give you that very lean, long neck look. And then again, blending is key guys. Okay, so next is not from the Sephora sale, but I'm going to just obviously finish this get ready with me with everything. <laughs> so you guys probably know this, but I love the Huda Beauty um, powder and it's in pound cake. So I just like to shake it just to get a good amount on there. And then I just get these cute little triangle um, puff brush thingies, whatever you want to call this from Amazon. I'll link it down below. But I do, I am very generous with this. Everyone's different. Some people press it off, but the more the merrier in my opinion. So... Just look up, put that all underneath, really press it into the skin. And then I just, just let some of it sit on there. And again, we'll do the other side. And again, really pushing it nicely into the skin, but not like smudging it, it's just pushing it so that you're pushing it into all your pores to make it look flawless because look at how flawless it's looking. If you like drag it, you're gonna like sometimes remove product and you don't wanna have any big weird streaks. And I also take a little bit, not as much, but I do like the sides. Like that, other side. And then whatever left of excess on there, then I'll just do just around where like I usually will sweat more. So a little bit through my T-zone. And then I just kind of keep pressing everything down just to make sure it is making everything look really flawless. Because who doesn't want to look flawless, you know? I just love makeup, oh my gosh. One day I'm gonna have a beauty room with a makeup, nice vanity, the whole thing. I'm gonna be filming all my makeup every day <laughs> because it's so fun. So now with it being set in a little bit, so I'm just using the same little brush that I use for the powder under eyes. And now I'm just gonna just kind of brush away any little excess. And then just kind of use that little excesses on the brush to kind of just kind of like go over everywhere because it just makes everything look really smooth. Now for the cheeks, I go in with a Sephora, I don't know what number this is. Oh, Sephora 72, it's like a fanned brush. And I just kind of use that to blend in the cheeks into the neck and I make a funny face so that I'm able to see my cheekbones and then just wherever there may have been some extra dusting again I bought these in the sale but this is what was left of the one that I was finishing off and the one from the sale was to replace this so this is the airbrush flawless filter setting spray so I'm going to use this to spray my face And then I'm so extra, I get a fan, that's really cute portable one from Amazon. I just try to fan my face just to kind of like let everything dry a little faster because I go in to make it last all night with some last little details. So I'm just gonna fan my face just to make sure everything is nice and dry. It's so handy even with like skincare if you're like in a rush to just fan, let everything set, it does wonders. So now I'm gonna go in with my mascara to do my bottom lashes. I just feel like it just makes your eyes more defined. Love it, love it. And I'll set the other side. So I like to really make my eyes big and bold. Like I just feel like it looks so nice in my style. So I love doing like a white liner. This is just from the drugstore, but it's phenomenal. It's the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick and it's just in pure white. And I will do like my inner crease on the bottom just to help brighten the eye. See the difference? This is with and without. Do the other side. Now, if you don't want it so bright, you can obviously use like a beige, which I do have as well, but today I wanna to really brighten my eyes. So going in with the white. And then now we're gonna just add a smidge more blush just because you know you wanna always have blush thick because it's usually the first thing that goes. So I'm gonna take again that Chanel one and just put it on just to really make that color pop. Oh, I'm really happy how this all turned out, guys. 
Okay, so we have a couple more steps left. So now we're going in with the Makeup by Mario, their Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector, and this is Radiant Skin Powder in Light Medium. And this is so pretty. So this is the one that actually broke when I opened it. Like when I opened it, it must have been dropped before it was shipped to me because it was all broken. So now I can finally show you guys what it looks like. So it looks like this. It has like kind of like a three-tone. So what I do is I just have a Morphe M510 brush. Wow, I didn't, I actually didn't realize, okay, I have a lot of brushes, but I didn't realize how many Morphe ones I've collected over the years. So now I'm just gonna do like a little swirl everywhere, a little top off, and we're just gonna use this to give the highlighter effect without it being too highlighter-like because today I don't wanna do too glowy. I want it to be more like matte, but make your skin look just looking flawless, you know? So I like to do like the high points of my face, above the brows, just above the cheekbones, your little underneath your nose to make it look a little button nose, and then a little bit on the cupid's bow. Take a little bit more, and on top. Wow, I really like this. It's so subtle. Like it doesn't look like you have anything, but it really has enhanced my skin. At least I think so. <laughs> so now we're gonna do the lips, and the comb I'm gonna use, because I did get a bunch of lip products from that haul. So today we're gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Liner in Deep Taupe really pretty. So I already swatched this in, this in the previous video, so I won't swatch it because you're gonna see it on. And then I'm so excited for this. This is the Lip Power in color 102 from um, Armani. Ooh, I like this color. That's the under lip. Ooh, I really like this color, guys. You know what? I am spot on with all these products. I really love all of them. Then I kind of blend it by going like on the side of the, the actual pencil. I feel like that really like, just accentuates the lips. And then same for the top. Oh, wow. That's what it looks like with nothing so far. I really... I'm loving this. Oh my goodness. Definitely this is going to be one of my new faves. Like, really nice to put on. And now I'm really excited for the Armani. Oh wow. And it has like a cream look to it, so it gives you a bit of shine. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at how nice! How pretty. I am so obsessed. This is such a pretty color. This also makes your teeth look so white. Oh my gosh, I'm absolutely obsessed. Now what I like to do is with the liner, once I put the lipstick on, just to kind of really accentuate my lips, I like to just go in a little bit in the center at the base, and then a little bit back at the top. But now, now the lips are finished, we're gonna go in with one more set of our setting spray. So here is the final result, guys. I'm trying to go from nice and close, from the side, look down so you can see my eyes, just like all over. And I am so happy with this. Definitely all these products are probably gonna be some of my new staples. Like I'm actually really impressed, genuinely. You guys know if I didn't like something, I won't share it and I would sell you in this haul. I think the products that I was really blown away with are the lip liner, and the um, Sephora, like the lighter rose gold, like the shadow that I did on my inner eye here. Um, and I really was happy with these, this foundation because I'm really picky about my foundation. And it did really good coverage. Like I just did those two pumps and it really did conceal and cover all of my imperfections. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to do more get readies with me, let me know in the comment section. Hopefully this video turned out okay. Um, and if you enjoyed it, let me know again by liking and subscribing to my channel. It means so much to me. And thank you so much again for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.